Many years ago when I was a student, one of the things that impressed me most about our faculty was their ability to take the biblical text and relate it to everyday life. But I soon learned that I knew very little about the context of the Bible. And one of the things that controls meaning is the context of the audience that originally received the message. That's when I met a man who introduced me to the study of Judaism and the study of Israel, both as geography and history and the archeology span that reveals the material past to us. It got me so excited that I've spent my whole life investigating that. It's an awesome thing to stand and understand more completely what was meant by what was said to the audience originally addressed and then by the Spirit as the Lord moves in our hearts and our lives to see that applied to everyday life where we live. So this particular program, Israel and Archaeology, is designed to take a small group of people in a concentrated year of study and introduce you to the history of the Jewish people and how they moved from exile in Babylon in the late 6th century BC up to the present day Israel in the modern state of Israel in the Middle East. Well, the small group of people going over the same things, helping one another along the way. It's the best freshman year that I know available. I think the strongest point in this entire program is that much of the things we'll do in the classroom will be hands-on. We'll have the artifacts to handle. We'll look at things in the lab. We'll make things and work through the process. But the most important part, we'll go to the land with a map in one hand, literally, and a Bible in the other. You'll touch the places you're reading about. You'll walk the roads and the lanes that you've heard about and read about. These will become real to you. In your mind's eye, when you read the scripture from that point on, this will replay. It'll be part of you. It'll change you and the way you read the Bible.